Welcome back to the kitchen, you guys. We are in a closet here in uh, at a studio, mm -hmm. so hopefully the audio is fine. Um, but we are excited for today's episode titled Boudoir, Dudoir, and Wedding Regrets. <laughs> it's a pretty funny discussion. <laughs> um, also, a little news, a little announcements. We have one ticket left to our New York City workshop content day. If you want to come shoot with us in New York City with Short Stash and his uh, fiance and some other models and 10 other filmmakers and photographers, Come hang out. We have one ticket left for our September New York content day. It's going to be gorgeous. Second item of business, we have just finally finished our lighting course. So those of you who have bought the full year one membership to our entire course module library, it is included there and it was has all been uploaded. If you don't and you want it, we'll link that below. But without further ado, let's cook. <laughs> Welcome back to the kitchen. We are in a closet. We today, are in a closet. But we're together. And yeah. It's right here. Yep. Straight across the table. It's wonderful. In a little, yep, bootlegged area. Yeah, just a little closet. But we don't really care because... Because you're really just listening. You're going to yeah, listen, you're just right? listening. No one's actually watching these podcasts. And, I mean, on that note, though, the, the audio is probably not the best either. I'll clean it up nicely. Yeah. We'll you're, just whisper. You're going to hear some things going on probably yeah. directly above us because the outlets aren't actually outlets. They're just yeah. cut holes in the ceiling. Yeah, and, it's kind of um, crazy. Yeah, so we'll hear everything directly above us. But what's important is we're together. Yeah, what's important. How you been, Jacob? Been good. I'm good. so tired today. I didn't sleep last night. <sighs> we're, we're here. The new dad life. Yeah, dad life. You'll see. A couple hours on. Yeah. You'll someday. see. Someday. <laughs> someday. <laughs> guys, we're going to be talking about some topics that we probably have no right to talk about today. None. Mainly boudoir photography. <laughs> <laughs> we're not photographers and we've never we're done boudoir. <laughs> Uh, wait, I want to see how you pronounce it. I was about to say, right. I've heard, I, I feel like you've... Can you guys hear this? Mainly heard boudoir. 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 Okay, boudoir. so we're going to be talking about boudoir, boudoir. photography today. Um, for only one reason. There's this trend going around. I don't know if it's a Utah trend or a nationwide trend. I've seen a lot of Utah. But the trend is... Well, we shouldn't dive into it. The trend is... <laughs> yeah. Um, the bride would take boudoir photography... Mm -hmm before the wedding. Mm -hmm. And usually we filmed boudoir books yeah. being given as a gift. Galleries. But I think because that ran its course, the new <laughs> thing is they take Polaroids boudoir, oh. boudoir, boudoir Polaroid, boudoir. and then the bridesmaids kind of give the groom a Polaroid throughout, like, the, throughout day. the day. And so he collects this album hmm. of boudoir Polaroid photography. And I wanted hmm. to get your thoughts, Nathan, before I give mine. Bef Quick question. On this trend. Quick question. Do you uh, do you think Utah is ahead of the trends or behind? I don't know. I've seen it definitely in Utah weddings, but I've also uh, seen it in other weddings too. Okay. Because I was about to say, I feel like Utah is ahead of trends. You yeah. Think we set the trends. I don't think we set them. I think people here just try to be so fashionista uh -huh. and like so ahead and like fat, you know, just. Uh -huh. That, that we're on top of things where you, you go to like the, the Midwest or like, you know, like, the, the, I don't know. We go to Iowa. They're not doing this. I don't think, I don't know. I feel like we're ahead of them, but who okay. cares? Who okay. cares? Um, so if, if you've never heard of this, maybe it's ahead of its time. I don't know. Yeah. And if you start seeing it, maybe you can thank Utah, but we have nothing against yeah, no, photography. No, 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 nothing. Um, so you asked me what my thoughts were on that trend. Um, I will say, Every single like TikTok, every social media of it, I've never seen the groom have a good reaction. Yeah, <laughs> he always just like accepts it, and he's just like, oh, like almost like. And I want to talk about why that is for. And a second. he doesn't look pleased. No. He's just like not even embarrassed. He looks like pissed almost, just like oh. Yeah. It's almost because it's coming. And here's my thought: it's because it's coming from a bridesmaid. Mm. And then it's like no longer is it just from my eyes. Everyone's, Everyone's probably seen, seen these photos, yeah. and I'm the last one to see these photos, yeah. which would make me a little uncomfortable, even knowing it's like my wife's girls. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The one that I saw, I think you showed me this actually. The little kid. Yeah, it was an LDS yeah. wedding. Yeah. The kid looked like he was twelve. Yeah, tops. I have no room to talk, but you don't. Look, you don't look like you're twelve. I think in the past 
month. <laughs> <laughs> Having a kid really changed you. All right. I okay. No, I I think that one I was Try just like, man, from that this one. this kid is too young. I, I just I've I've never so seen a good think one. He'd be stoked to see these photos. And he wasn't. You'd think, right? Especially in Utah, the culture is to save yourself for marriage. Yeah. Um That's kind of a popular culture. Yeah. put yourself in the shoes. I'd be sighted out of my mind. Right? My wife knows this. Yeah, stoked. <laughs> would you feel weird? I'm obsessed if, with Would her. you feel weird if one of the brides, bridesmaids, yeah, I think was I would. I think that's what annoys two things. And you you talk about this all the time about trendy weddings is when it's for the trend, it, yeah. it ruins everything. It does. So because one person, the first person who did this trend was original. Yeah. And it was probably fun, but now that everyone's doing it, that's why I don't like it. Mm. Is because they're trying to do it the way someone else did it, which usually means one of the couple members isn't on board because right. it was like someone else's idea. And you can just tell that like either the groom or the bridesmaids think it's weird. Sometimes the bridesmaids and the TikToks think it's like you tell that like uh-huh, yeah. someone's saying, it's, it's hand in this TikTok, photo. Right. It's like, yeah. Thoughts on the, uh, the, uh, the media through which it's delivered a Polaroid. Would you rather have it on a Polaroid? Like kind of like that filmic or would you want like some like high, like high digital quality? gallery? Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere I can go mobile with it. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yeah, do you want a higher quality or just kind of the blurry Polaroid? I was thinking about this. Polaroids would be a vibe. <laughs> you were thinking, <laughs> My you wife's were thinking listening. about this. Polaroids would be a vibe. <laughs> no, definitely a vibe. But I want that 42 um, megapixel. It's kind of fun to like, yeah. you know, vintagely look back on it, you know, in decades <laughs> when we're older and decrep- decrepit and be like, oh, wow, that's, that's what I looked like, yeah. you know, in a Polaroid. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, do you show it to your kids? I don't know. Like if no, that's ever something I don't that ever think you gets ever out. showed your kid, no. But maybe it's like one of those things like centuries later, it's like, wow, look at my great grandma. Banging. <laughs> I don't know if I want to see. Body. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. I maybe think not. that's for you and your wife's eyes only. <laughs> that's what I think. So I, I do think the medium of Polaroids is that's interesting. I, hmm. I would I think, the, I think the gallery books are classy. But then where do you put that book? Well, I, what if your son finds it and takes it to school one day? Worst case scenario. <laughs> Show and tell. That's the worst case. <laughs> Here's what my do your mom. kids do? <laughs> uh, yeah, or I mean, dad if- the, the whole boudoir thing, it's not, it's, it's, it's always been kind of in the background. It's a thing, but this new thing of delivering through the day is the trend. We've, should we say their names? I, I feel like there was a classy, do you remember? Okay, Riverbottoms Ranch. I feel like that was a classy boudoir. Do you remember? She gave him the, the gallery and he was sitting down. He just like had a little moment. Do you remember that? Oh, you filmed it. I wasn't there. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, super classy. Super classy. Most are. So we've seen it done we've in had a, lot a classy of way. Yeah. yeah, and they were just like a classy yeah. couple. Just like really. So fun. Yeah, so fun. Uh-huh. And you could tell it was her like really getting out of her comfort zone. Like mm-hmm. it was not like her to do yeah. that. And it was just like, it was like a classy little moment. He sure. just had it to himself. And um, I think if you're going to do it, great. I don't know about the Polaroid thing. I and then making it a TikTok. I would say no. My mm. my, my my opinion is not. Nah, don't do it, because it's for the TikTok. That's what bothers me yeah. truly. Is yeah, that same. they're doing it for the virality and not yeah. because they want to give their. Maybe it's both. Maybe, maybe two things we at once. I think they can. <sighs> do you wish you had that at your Good wedding? Mark. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> do you wish you had that at your wedding? If you told the Kinsey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lock me up. <laughs> I love my wife. I think she's hot as hell. And so I, I would love that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> would you want them filming it, though? No, I wouldn't yeah, want anyone want, to know about that. You don't want the that. reaction. No, I don't no. either. My first question would be like, I know all the photographers who took these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which one of my friends has seen my wife this way? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> no. You? Yeah. Would have loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Top yeah. comment. You guys are a bunch yeah, of yeah, pervs. I would have loved hey. it. Hey, attracted to my wife. Come Nothing on. wrong with it. Yep. Just lock me up. Yep. Put me in jail. All right. Next question. Male boudoir photography. See, now that's where it gets interesting. <laughs> I'm just, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> I've thought about this. No, I'm just kidding. No, Nate I would actually no, rock I, uh... it. <laughs> All the boys, we have a separate chat without Nate, and we have openly <laughs> talked about begging Nate to do a boudoir photo shoot for us. <laughs> Never in my life. Oh, well. Well, see, here's the thing. We, Calvin we... Klein. Like Jeremy Allen White. Yeah. Man, he killed that. <laughs> yeah. He killed that. Um, here's the thing about boudoir. The photographer, you have to be instantly connected. I'll, you, take, I'll, 
I don't. I could. I'll be your I could. <laughs> I don't want you being my photographer. I'll take those I don't want. I you. got some poses in mind already. <laughs> I don't want you being my All photographer. Right. No, no, no. We're gonna be in the kitchen for this one. Uh, Cook these eggs. I genuinely just can't imagine, as a male, I'm putting myself in the shoes of someone who who wanted. Granted, that's not my personality. But like what? I'm putting myself in the shoes of of a guy who wanted to do like a boudoir session, if that's even a thing. I gotta be you like. Did. What when was this? What? What? No, I'm. Is there even such thing as oh, male? It has to be. It has to be, right? Should we Google it? No. I, I just, I, I, I don't. What am I trying to say? Oh, it's a. What's a dudewar? Dudewar? <laughs> You're kidding me. That fits too. It's well. usually comic. <laughs> it's usually dudewar. <laughs> I am deleting my search history. <laughs> Wow, Dudoir. No, I would never so, do so Dudoir. Go on. Go I, on. I just, it's, the photographer is such an important decision uh-huh. in that process. And I just can't think of any photographer where I'd be like, yeah, sign me up for a Dudoir session. Me. I, I would, I I would take those photos. I don't want you taking my Dudoir <laughs> Sam would take those photos. Pictures. Or Sam. All three of us. Or Dallin. Three cameras. I don't want anybody I know <laughs> Gosh, taking my Dudoir so pictures. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I interesting mean, trend. You, would you do a dude war? Um, <laughs> no. However, I can just let me reveal some in, inner insecurities I have here. My life goal, and this tells you how how little I think of myself, <laughs> is to work out enough and to get the body that I would like, so that confidently, if you ask me that question, I would feel zero guilt doing it. And be like, no, I would actually look for. I think that's those great. Photos. I think you're close. I think you can do it. It's very vain, but I'm looking at all these dudewar photos right now, and uh, these guys have some mad confidence with the dad bods. Oh, you're looking at them right now. Oh yeah, but they're funny. It's like this guy eating pizza in his underwear on a bed, sexually. Really? Sensually? 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 Yeah. Sensually? Anyway, but yeah, I yeah no, I wouldn't. What's, I probably wouldn't. What's the difference between? Kenzie s- would also hate those photos. Yeah. I promise you. That's never. Kenzie would hate those <laughs> Imagine photos. the grandkids getting hold yeah. of those. <laughs> um, what's the peak male age to do dudoir? I don't know, man. Men age like fine wines. Mi- mi- mid-30s? Brad Pitt right now. Dude, Brad could Pitt. Could still do it. Mid-30s? Upper 30s? <sighs> Depends who you are. Brad Pitt right now. What? How old is Brad Pitt? I'd say no earlier than 20. I'd say no earlier than 18. Legally, Obviously. legally. <laughs> Brad Pitt's sixty. Yeah, Brad Pitt would kill it. Yeah. Um, I'd say no earlier than twenty-five. Whenever you fucking in your prime, Tom Cruise is sixty-two. That's actually crazy. Yeah. Anyway. Crazy. Anyway. So yeah, funny trend we've been seeing. Yeah. Other trends we've been seeing on TikTok. I have been seeing. Okay, I've been seeing. I think it's people are speaking out now mm-hmm. against the sepia bride. I feel like um, it's kind of dead and gone. It is. Yeah. But I think since then, also, can I just say how much I love that the Sepia Brides TikTok is back to like zero views. Great. And she's just posting, trying to cling to her fame, and there's nothing to cling to yeah. because she was a one-trick pony. Yeah. Um, made me happy. Uh, not that you should wish ill on people, but it just made me happy. <laughs> um, <laughs> sue me. Um but I have been seeing a lot of people like talking about their weddings and their regrets now. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of people on the same exact topic are regretting doing their wedding um, without really doing it the way they wanted to and just yeah. doing it what they thought yeah. was trendy. Yeah. Um, or even thinking that they had to fit in with like the social norms of like what weddings should include. Like we just shot a gorgeous wedding. Yeah. Didn't great. have a cake really cutting, great. a bouquet toss, a garter toss. Wow. I didn't even realize they didn't um, do the cake. What other thing did they not have that I was? I didn't like, even notice. Yeah, they didn't like they didn't do those didn't things. And like, and in in replace of those things, they had more time for dinner, more time for partying, yeah. dancing. They did the uh, send off the champagne saber. Remember the champagne? Yeah, the sh- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like in replace of they made it about them. Yeah, and I'm seeing a lot of brides posting TikToks about like asking about their wedding. And it's like, yeah, I just wish I would have done it my way. Mm-hmm. And then I know some of our favorite weddings have always been when brides kind of take control and say, even though this is like a trend, I don't care. I want to do it my way. Yeah. And then I think about my sister's wedding. My sister is a good example. She loved her and her fiance at the time, loved brunch. It was like their 
Mm-hmm. The most important thing in the world to them was their brunch dates. Yeah. Super, super significant. She loved her crepes. Um, and so they said, well, why not do a brunch wedding? And so they did a brunch. It was like an 11 a.m. wedding ceremony. And she wanted everyone at the wedding who they loved to speak during their ceremony. So yeah. just pass the mic around and people give advice. And then afterwards, there was a crepe bar and they exited. Yeah. It was like an hour and a half long event. Yeah. And that's yeah. all she wanted. It was perfect. The crepe bar was great. Yeah, it was just like unique. Yeah. You're just like, this is my wedding, you know? Yeah. So I have been loving seeing brides kind of come to that realization. Sad it's a regret, honestly. Mm-hmm. But also, uh, hopefully, it inspires the next generation of brides to be like, do it my way. Yeah, as long as the bride, uh, I mean, we talked about this a lot on last week's episode. As long as they're just not planning, if they they take control and plan it with things that are special to them specifically, that's great. If it's just a Pinterest board of events, that's when it sucks. You just don't want that. Um, One bride posted saying, like, by the end of the wedding, it had to be like a, one of those LDS weddings where people kind of show up and leave whenever they want. Yeah. But she, by the end of the wedding, like no one really stuck around. It was just like the core bridal party who like stayed until the very end of the wedding. And she's like, and that kind of made me realize, oh, these are the only people I actually care to mm. be here. Yeah. Why didn't I just do like a more intimate wedding? Right. And just make it more grandiose with these people than like this huge 200 person event, you know, yeah. for no reason. Speaking so. of, yeah. I, uh, you want to know my like least as a guest first off sorry about the creaking you guys I'm yeah you hear this building about to sounds collapse like people are about to yeah they're mm-hmm. wrestling upstairs it's one of my favorite things when i can attend a wedding as a guest yeah. because it doesn't happen very often yeah but i will say nothing makes me more uncomfortable ever than when you're at a wedding and the dance party is not meant to be a dance party it's not the right crowd yeah and they're trying to force it mm-hmm. and when you couple that with no DJ, it's just a Spotify playlist uh-huh. playing songs all the way through with the cardinal sin. They don't have their Spotify settings to, to blend the songs. Cardinal. It just cuts off and there's three seconds of just dead space. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That Those are the weddings I, I, I want to, to leave. There's one thing we've learned this year about vendors is that a DJ, you get what you pay for. Mm-hmm. Just worked with a fantastic DJ. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Love that dude. That so good. Love that guy. He's so fun. Guys, we had this great experience with the DJ. We walked up and uh, you just never know with DJs what you're going to get because uh-huh. you're about to ask to, you know, touch their stuff. Um, their, their boards. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Touch their junk. <laughs> touch their, touch their, their like, boards. Their audio touch equipment their junk. is we're talking. Um, all their package. <laughs> just. But I walked up and I was like, hey, Jake. And then before I could even say, he's like, he's like you probably want to plug into my. My board. Yes. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I can do the speaker, the board. I got Ox XLR. He's like, oh, he's like, oh, the board's gonna be the cleanest feed. Opens up his board table, gets this, I like, gets this process. He takes out his thing, lifts it up. He's like, okay, we unplug this, and you can go in through here. And I was just like, what? The nicest, most refreshing thing yeah. I've ever seen. And he was very good. He you can, very you good. Tell. Very Throughout the good night, guy. he was he was killing it. Didn't talk too much. He let no. he let the let the moment simmer. Great MC. Yeah. Didn't make it about himself, uh-uh. which is another crazy thing that DJs do sometimes. So they're trying to like, it's like a business card they're trying to push. Yeah, no, he was he was a yeah. great MC. Yeah, it was awesome. Great DJ. Refreshing. But and yeah. my, my search history right now is uh Doudoir. Brad Pitt and male boudoir. Hmm. So let me clear that. Just clear that. Ding, ding. <laughs> Just in case my digital footprint, my FBI agents <sighs> watching like what the What other trends? What other trends are going on now? Um I forgot I was gonna talk to you about something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. What your wedding regrets? My wedding regrets. Yeah. <sighs> wedding regrets. Well, uh, I think we've talked about it here on this podcast before. Uh, my number one regret is the the weather. <laughs> Couldn't uh, control that, yeah. but I wish I could. The one day in October yeah. when it rains. Yeah. Actually, the day you know, before and the day after you guys were beautiful. And all of November, we got married on October 23rd. It was a weird year. Yeah. All of November was beautiful. It was like 65 and sunny. Perfect fall. Which in Salt Lake is crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish we would have gotten married two weeks earlier because mm-hmm. when we went to go scope out the spot, it was beautiful fall colors. And by the time we got married, it was just dead. It was like a little dead spot. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing, ooh, let me think here. Uh, I'd say, oh, 
I can tell you. I can tell you my number one regret. The videographer. My number <laughs> one regret. I did think about that. I was like, would this be funny to say Dallin? <laughs> no. My Our number my movie. number number one regret, nothing will top it. Um, we had like twenty something disposable cameras. Oh yeah. And this what is we sad did you guys. Yeah, what we did with these disposable cameras is we put them on the guest tables mm-hmm. and the idea was just like, yeah, the guests can pick them up through the night and they can just take pictures, right? You go out with the, the bridesmaids and they're all just hyped and, you know, everyone's getting candid pictures. So by the end of our wedding, we were going to have 25 disposable cameras each with I don't know, 30 pictures, 45, yeah. 50, 50, I don't know how many come on those. So we were going to have hundreds of these just candid vibey pictures. And we thought it was a good idea because we've done it previously to get these pictures developed at Walgreens. That's usually where I go. Right? Is there's yeah. cheap little things for they disposable stuff, yeah. Yeah, for disposable stuff. If it was like a film camera, absolutely not. But it was like disposables, yeah. right? So we took them to Walgreens and um, they're like, Great, we'll get this back to you in like two weeks. So we go on our honeymoon, we come back and nothing from Walgreens. And so we start following up saying, Hey, like, where are the pictures? Oh, don't worry about it. Like th- we, we found the, the order. We found the cameras They're uh, you know, they're going to be done on Monday, we're checking on Monday. Sorry. A couple more days, mm-hmm. check back on Thursday. So we kept checking back. And then one day, um, they just said, Hey, sorry. Uh, all the cameras are lost. <laughs> so it was just one of those moments. Like you were yeah, lying tag Walgreens. Yeah. You were lying to us the whole time. Like they didn't have the processing number. They didn't have any history of it at all. Excuse No, they did, but they didn't know how many cameras, they didn't know how many pictures or anything. And so it just came to this point, like where we figured out they were just lying to us to buy us, to buy themselves time to try to find our cameras. Do you have an order confirmation email? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, we did. We did. Harvey we did. wonders if this is user error. No, 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 no. We did. We did. So we gave them. So like we were at the point where we were calling with the confirmation number yeah. to like Walgreens, like super centers and processing units. And they were all like, yeah, like it's in like South Dakota right now. Like all these crazy things until the day came where they just said, yeah, sorry, we don't have those. And we don't know where the cameras are. We don't know where the pictures are. Um, Here's 200 bucks. And so it was like, 200 bucks. Screw you guys. And my wife cried over that because it was, it's it's, Kayla's thing. Yeah. It's like, that was like one of the top things, maybe the top thing she was looking forward to because she loves those blurry, cheap photos. Yeah. She loves those. And it was going to be a whole photo wall. Oh man. And so that was every guest you love too. Yeah. Of every, like her grandpa, Sam took a mooning picture in the bathroom (laughs) lost forever. (laughs) Like we have a great gallery. Courtney killed it. Yeah. And there's this one picture of her grandpa. Just, he was the style. He he had this like Mm. suit pea coat on and he had this top hat and he looked great. And it's just an iconic photo, but we wanted those like genuine moments of just like family and friends. And, uh, we lost them forever. And so never take it to Walgreens. It's your wedding. Treat it a little, Better, Usually a CVS guy myself, actually. I've since converted to CVS. Yeah, because yeah. that scares me. Yeah. 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 So I wish I would have taken them to probably like someone better. Sad. Yeah. Just it's never happened. You know, I've, we've taken stuff there before and nothing. It was always a smooth process. I have another sad story about film. I, uh, our Hawaii vacation last year, mm-hmm. um, I brought my film camera, my Canon AE1. Mm-hmm. And uh, when you're taking out a film roll, you have to unwind it to roll it back into <laughs> yeah. the film thing. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was unwound. And so then I opened the uh, container and it all kind of like spilled out and the whole the film roll was, was out. And so every, every, that whole roll got hit by sunlight and it was ruined. Isn't it the second the sun hits it? Uh-huh. It's over. Not, it's GGs. done. Done. Yeah. Sad. Dang. Was that and, the only roll you had? Yeah. Maybe it's very sad. And it was that's a full vibey roll. pictures. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. That's, that's some vibey pictures of Hawaii. Lost forever. Yeah. Tell me my wedding regrets. Me and Kenny step about this all the time. So you guys, I got married before I really got into videography. And uh, also we had a $7,000 budget, I think, for mm-hmm. our entire wedding. <laughs> Used, uh, And we got married in an LDS temple, which is a free venue for your ceremony. And then uh, we used our friends, like, courtyard of their house for our reception. Like, basically, we backdrop was the garage. Mm-hmm. Um, turned out so fun. Loved it. Um but one of our biggest regrets is we wish we would have done the temple portion on a different day mm-hmm. because uh, back then, like it wasn't very common to do like a separate ceremony because the ceremony happens in the temple and you can't have photo or video in a temple. And it's very religious, uh, very ceremonial. 
Um, there's no exchanging of vows and everything. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you take a ring ceremony or a traditional ceremony after the temple, you can say those vows. And our biggest regret is we didn't do that ceremony. The vow, yeah. Because I've never had the I've never had the chance to see Kenzie come down like a Nile, mm -hmm. and I've always wanted that, you know. Yeah. Um, it's also one of our big regrets. We wish we had like a ceremony so we can like say vows, but I think we're gonna try to do like a vow renewal every ten years. Yeah. Second regret was I wore a blue suit, and I wish I would have wore that black. Was, I wish I would have wore a black tux. That was the hot thing back then, yeah. though. The there brown was suit with the trended for six months, and I got married brown. in those six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I just wish I would have done a black tux, just timeless. Keep it, keep it yeah. timeless. Just yeah. timeless. Yeah. Yeah, I also look like an actual eight-year-old in my wedding photos, but, <laughs> but I loved it. I, I love my wedding so much. Loved our photographer, loved our videographer, loved the party, loved the food. I just wish those two things were big ones. For I me. think, yeah, I think, um, and like none of my friends, like my current friends, were there. Yeah, I got married so young, so long yeah, ago, so long, different life, different life. I was I, different. Something that I mean, this is speaking directly to the the LDS crowd. Um, Something I'm really happy with. Well, I can't say it's caught on fully yet, but it seems like I wish more LDS couples just did their marriage, like they did a civil ceremony, mm -hmm. and then they did the temple. Uh, who, who a week later, two weeks, a year, whatever. But I think that's just like such a special thing. It doesn't dilute the importance of the temple no. ceremony. Um, it's also so sacred, yeah, and beautiful. So to come out of the temple and then just be stressed about a timeline and photos. It's mm -hmm. just a lot kind of yeah. takes away from it. And yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 it is a day for, of course you and like you as a couple, but it's also a very special day for everybody, your whole mm -hmm. family, your friends. And if they aren't oh, members right. of the church, they can't go in the, the temple. Yeah. Um, and so that was probably one of the best things that Kayla and I did. Yeah. We got married in this Canyon, just like a private, private mm -hmm. venue. And then we so went to the fun. temple like a year later. So, fun. um, and honestly, we just like, we just like kept forgetting to go and get like, yeah. like it's an important thing. And people are like, how dare you not get sealed? Didn't invite me. We, no, no. And that's. Invited Sam, not me. Sam was the photographer. Sam well, took the photos. I could take the photos. But it was so much more special going through the temple with just my family, with just our family. Yeah. And then coming out and not having to do like the theatrics of like, uh -huh. oh, all right, pictures, everybody. Yeah. It just, it was so refreshing because we already did our big day. Yeah. And the best way to do it. by doing it that way, again, speaking to the LDS crowd here, by getting married civilly beforehand and then doing the temple ceremony, you avoid the one biggest thing that bothers both of us, which is when the officiant during the civil ceremony, because usually they'll get married in the temple and then they'll do like a little fake ring ceremony after that. So everyone's there. And the officiant always says, well, I know you already got married in the temple and that's the most important thing. So you are getting remarried. It like, me. Yeah. They're, so this is just kind of it's more so of a... so unnecessary. It's so unnecessary. It's like, yeah, you already got married, but we're just kind of doing this for everyone else. Like that was the most important part. Yeah. Here's the secondary. That bothers me. Oh, yeah. Bothers me. It's just, oh, yeah. It's just disrespectful, I think, to everyone else. It that is. It's their first time. Can't stand it. Yeah. So get rid of that. Yeah. Get Bishops, that. if you're listening... <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> Bishops, <laughs> officiants. <laughs> you know, other regrets. I, I really love my wedding. Yeah. It was so long ago, but. Yeah. Yeah, I think we wanted to go vow renewal over 10 years, and it'd be fun now that we have a baby. She'll be three when we do our vow renewal. Wow. Which be crazy. Wow. So she can be in the video. Um, but yeah, boudoir, Dude wedding boudoir? regrets. Any other? Boudoir, dudeoir, <laughs> yeah, so and wedding regrets. Episode? That's going to be the title. Boudoir, yeah. dudeoir, and wedding regrets. <laughs> actually genius that's great you guys have some good episodes planned for the next few weeks also at the time of making this episode we have one ticket left to our new york workshop we do um i'm probably actually gonna plug it in the intro to this video but if you want to snag it september come hang out in new york with us but you guys if you have uh, any thoughts about boudoir dudoir or wedding regrets leave them in the comments below we'd love to hear yours too <laughs> yeah. and we'll see you in the next one